what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and today we have the portland tech penguins off season as we will take a look at the college football playoffs who wins that go through off season training results all of that good stuff um when we last left off we were in bowl week week one we don't have a bowl game so um let's look here no that's not what i meant to do staff wise we have Kendall Kemp, a C minus head coach, an D O C and a D minus D C. Uh, we can't fire them or anything like that because I think that was last week. I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead. Oh, I think it's no, it's not staff moves. So we'll we'll go ahead and sim. So the college football championship looks to be Oregon versus Ohio State. Let's go take a look at the bracket and see how it all went down. So uh, it went about as I expected, except Ole Miss dropping a 40 mom on Penn State was kind of not expected. USC put a big beat down on Tennessee. Oregon of once again beating USC, LSU beating Ole Miss, and then Oregon beating LSU. Go to the comp or the college football championship. For Ohio State, it looked like they beat Tulane in a pretty close contested game. It was only a touchdown score. Then they put a pretty decent win on Michigan, and then they beat rank one Miami in what looked to be a pretty one-sided victory for them. But also check out Miami versus Georgia. One point game. That would have been an absolute crazy game to watch. Watch. so here is the sad part for us the players leaving the the really high-end seniors it's sad to look at this list it doesn't look like a lot of them but still it's sad to see them go we had demetrius williamson jalen mcdonald jerry and love alexander valentine octavius terrell ian wells our boy chase freeman jaden bowie and blake sutton jr all leaving this year so let's see did we get anybody drafted i know for a fact we didn't yep let's do the fun part which is the transfer portal um as you guys see we don't have all of our guys committed here so what we will do we're gonna keep offering these guys some points just try and get them to commit uh as long oh we lost it on eric pitts that's not great so let's schedule him a visit since we we do have a bunch more uh, points now in the off season. We can kind of do this. Uh, like, you know, we, we lost Terrell Heron to, to Iowa. So we'll give him a visit this week and send the house and hopefully we stay in it. Uh, Darrell Witherspoon, the dude that we really want, we're going to schedule him on a visit as well. He wants nothing that we have. Good Lord. But we will still be looking at the transfer portal. I just want to make sure I get these guys that I have on the board because because I mean, we need freshmen desperately. We just need depth, honestly. I think that's what we need. I'm okay losing Ty Jordan. Ross Stewart, I definitely want though. Can't bring him in week one though. This is not great. We're gonna be out of points here on this first uh, first week before we can even go into the the transfer portal to look at people. Uh, we only have 10 points left and that's not great, but we're gonna go to the transfer portal, put some guys on the board and see if we can maybe put some guys on the board that we're gonna definitely need. So all the best guys we could add on the board was Alex Bauman and Jaden Bellamy. Uh, I'm probably going to lose them after this week because we don't have the, the points to be given out like that. Um, actually, we want Jaden. We, we really want Jaden. Uh, George, you aren't in desperate need of being lost. Like, you, you will still be on the board next week. So, not Kiki. Not Kiki. Not Kiki. Jaden Bellamy, we will go ahead and give him 25 on top of the scholarship. And hopefully, he still is considering us as a choice come next week. We got another commit. Sean Calloway, the center. That's, that's actually pretty big because we lost a center. I don't know if he was our starting center, but we did lose a center. We get Ross Stewart. I don't remember putting points into him, but I'll take it. Actually, he might have been the gym. I'm not sure, though. As Eric Pitts and uh, Eric Pitts and Terrell Heron both go to different teams. Not great, but it's okay. We lost the DT, um, which sucks because he was a gem. Uh, we'll just have to take our 
blows and keep moving. Uh, Witherspoon is close to committing. That will be our quarterback next year, most likely. Uh, Jeffrey Way will be on our way to a commit soon. Bob Burns, hopefully we can make up for losing Heron just now. Um, now we can go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty that is the transfer portal and scout Alex Bauman. He is all that I thought and more. So we're gonna give him 50 because we do need that. Uh, let's go make sure Jaden Bellamy isn't necessarily a bust he is not that is 91 speed 95 excel is actually really good uh so we'll change that 25 to a visit in 50 now we will scout mims three star we could definitely work with that wesley williams three star christian ellis we don't necessarily need him but three star nonetheless richard o'brien melvin jordan the fourth we could use another middle linebacker just for depth purposes same thing with dariel uh Dajabon. I don't know how to say that last name. I'm going to give up. Baron Hobson, right outside linebacker, could be used as well. And then Seahay. I almost don't want to recruit this guy based on his name. Uh, Seahay Bangura. I'm, I'm just going to say that's his name. Com comments if you want to correct me, be my guess. Uh, so pressing wise, we definitely need a middle linebacker. We're going to go with Melvin Jordan, the fourth, because he is faster. Give him a scholarship in 50. Another cornerback will greatly help. Even if we don't get uh, Bellamy, another cornerback would still help. So Richard O'Brien is better than Kiki Dallas. So we will give O'Brien the scholarship plus 50. And then Mims, we definitely do need another defensive tackle. Uh, so we will give him a scholarship and 10. And if they're still here next week, Wesley Williams will definitely be our next guy and then brian hobson will definitely be their next guy as well those two so with that being said we can actually we can still put points into williams and hobson we can even go get bangura uh if we want as well which we probably will and then just to make sure this dude commits let's do 10 points and don't know because i just want this dude to commit at this point and we're going to change CJ Mims to 50. And then we have 50 points to work with still. And let's see. Let's see. And with the 50 points left, we will just go ahead and give Daryl Dajabom. Uh, we'll give him a scholarship in 25. And with the rest of the 20, Kiki Dallas can have 10. And Ty Jordan can also have 10. All right, so week four of four of the transfer portal incoming. Not a great recruiting class, but I mean, we don't have, we don't have the re recruiting assets to really do anything, but we got George Nawanri finally. Took them all season. We got Jeffrey Way. That is actually really big for us as well because we do need outside help so um we just lost ca bangura because of playing time for some reason we were first on his board it's fine we'll remove him um we'll give daija bohm uh 50 for this final week and then kiki dallas if we can we'll try to sneak him real quickly take a look at the other guys though real quick all right so we're not gonna get alex Bauman. that's okay we tried uh we're probably not gonna get Jaden bellamy either we tried uh it's just not working they're just a little too far outside our range as they're four stars uh we will get richard o'brien most likely cj mims most likely we probably won't get wesley williams that's fine we did try to pick him up late so that makes sense uh melvin jordan we will probably get uh hobson it's a 50 50 ball right now for me Could be could not be i don't know how much usf is gonna get right here so it's really just that i mean we're gonna get bob burns most likely as well um we're gonna go to the prospect list real quick i want one more running back if possible like a little cheeky we'll pick him up real quick you know um wanted a little bit bigger of a back but it doesn't look like i'm gonna get that I, I beggars can't be choosers at this point we know he has 83 release and 80 catch in traffic and he's physical so it's fine we'll take it I mean, he probably won't even commit to us because look at that old dominion's got him in the bag but i just realized we lost demetrius williams and we don't have another wide receiver um so hopefully we don't just have oh i can take points off ty jordan because he we ain't getting them so yeah that works okay we know okay 
We know he has 75 deep route, 81 catching, 75 awareness, 80 me uh, medium route running, and 87 agility. So, I mean, he's not actually that bad of a receiver. I would be happy if he committed, but we probably won't get him, unfortunately. Let's just send to the next week, see what our recruiting class finally looks like. The goal was to have more people brought in than we lost. That's really the goal. We got Richard O'Brien. We got Melvin Jordan the fourth. We get Daryl Dajabom, and that looked like it was it. Oh no, that's not good at all. Wow. Okay, let's check out recruiting. That went so bad. Yeah, Daryl Lee went to, or Dante Lee, sorry. Dante Lee went to Old Dominion, saw that coming. USF got him, I saw that coming. Wesley Williams saw that. Jaden, yeah, that makes sense. Ballman makes sense. Dallas makes sense. Okay, so we have Bob Burns. Okay, I thought he just didn't like sign. So, okay. Um, so that's the class. We signed 14 people in our first recruiting class. Could be worse, could be better. I it's okay. Um, we got some middle linebackers for depth because last year it was just Freeman and Stevens. So we have Jordan. Dodge Bone and Stevens going forward. Mims plugs in at DT along with Bob Burns because DT room is weak. Um, Jeffrey Way will help out at corner, I'm sure. Same thing with Richard O'Brien. Uh, we need corner help. We lost corners. George Nwanri helps the tight end room significantly. Corey McKillop also goes in that why that middle linebacker situation um yeah i mean all these guys will probably be key pieces for at least this next year swope will get a most likely get to start orgy will probably start i think we lost our starting strong safety whoever that was uh ryan hart will probably start sean calloway will probably start uh ross stewart will probably start so yeah i mean all these guys will help not the fanciest of signing we didn't get the quarterback did we we didn't get witherspoon no we did we did okay we got witherspoon Whew, i almost got really sad so position changes because we have to go change the athlete that is darrell witherspoon to quarterback because he's a 69 overall scrambler which i said regard like last episode no matter what aiden powell you're probably not starting to get buddy and I'm going to make Frost and Dante Neal get cut because I don't really need that many people. Uh, Jarvis will be three, most likely. Jarvis might be two. It depends on how training results go. That, that's how that is going to. Okay. So Melvin Jordan is a 78. Oh my God. <laughs> Same thing with uh, Daryl Dajabom. He's wow. Okay. So Jeffrey Stevens might have lost the starting job. No, he will not because he has 90 speed. He will be my user, but probably will be Stevens, Dajabom. McKillop will get a red shirt. And then next year when Dajabom leaves, Melvin Jordan will probably actually no melvin jordan will probably start this year because he's faster and eh, we'll see we'll see i might move one of them i'm not sure yet Paje coles is a senior though stefan harper uh you can do whatever oh, okay yeah that's a big drop off there at right outside linebacker can you move can you move is the question you can move okay to make sure dodge bone starts in his senior year we're moving him to right outside linebacker uh i know it's mainly used in madden as a pass rusher but we need him i mean 63 overall versus is 72 which one are you gonna take um middle linebacker room looks really good though else wise uh mckillop might not red shirt if we get into that situation again with wear and tear it just it really just depends um cornerback room max young is the highest overall right now but richard o'brien's 71 that's great for him plug in like that and help um i don't see oh he's right here jeffrey way 65 i can live with that cornerback four uh so we'll 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 take it that's that's perfectly fine solomon a senior now quincy blue kareem orgy is a 66 uh quincy blue will start we will probably redshirt orgy because he's a freshman and i don't want to burn a year of eligibility with him just sitting behind quincy blue um and you know blue's a junior so orgy would be a sophomore by the time he starts it, it really just depends i did not get a kicker though but that means matthew york our stud of a kicker will be doing both things um the running back room we didn't lose anybody thankfully um it, it, we just we're gonna need a running back this year most likely uh wide receiver room we didn't pick up another one 
that was on me i wasn't thinking so nawan is a seven or a fifth a 65 so that's fine it adds more depth than 50 overall maverick bentley roland swope will definitely well he might not actually because uh training results so roland swope was a 66 overall um ross stewart was a 66 overall and he'll start after red shirting a year sitting behind max mcclure uh sean calloway will probably start unless keon robertson does some crazy upgrades and i can't remember where's our did we get one more we did one uh, Arnold Reinhardt is a 67. He will probably sit behind Kalen Franklin his senior year. Do we have good pass rushers? Not really. I mean, so pass rushers Townsend will uh, be a senior. Kobe Garland will be a junior now. So we'll work on beefing up the old, or the defensive line hopefully this season. So we will sim to the next week. Now the fun part, training results where we get to find out what people did oh my god all right well aiden powell went up to an 84 okay um jarvis went up to a 70 somehow okay i'm wow i am shocked really i i honestly am uh i don't know how he almost got 10 he got a nine overall boost it was stamina toughness and injury that's all it was okay what is your deep deep accuracy is an 85 but it, he plays like he has a negative two deep accuracy so i don't get that um so it was all just like bs okay got it i'll make a decision but probably not starting halfback strickland's up to a 79 daniel Krum's up to a 78 i will take that let's see what they got a boost to probably the same stuff so i'm not seeing any upgrades outside of stamina toughness and injury which isn't great but i mean it keeps our guys on the field a little bit longer not as hurt uh matthew hill up to a 78 absolutely deserve jb on foreman's a 78 cj peaks is a 70 we can work with this for sure and once again i'm sure it doesn't even say anything was upgraded this time so i don't know i i honestly don't know but JB on Foreman has a 99 release. So that's cool. Andrew Morgan's up to an 80. Uh, Spanway is a 67. So I'm not 100% sure if he beats out the freshman. Uh, McClung's up to a 71. Or McClure, sorry, is up to a 71. Uh, Keon Robertson's up to a 68. So he did get a pretty big bump um perkins is up to a 79 so that's nice to see with the junior up to a 72 and a 70 there so we might do some some moving around uh franklin's up to a 75 green is up to a 70 we might move barlow over to left guard no we got a senior there i'm not sure well we'll figure it out well i'm just looking at training results that's all i need to do townsend went up to a 75 that's actually really nice to see kobe garland had a great year and he did not get anything oh my goodness kobe garland played great last season and he went up like what one overall two overall our best is now john decker at a 77 this dude made a leaps and bounds wow dt wise kate bloom I don't know where you were last year. You're up to a 75. Deshaun Weeks is up to a 73. I mean, these are pretty significant upgrades. Jeffrey Stevens up only one overall to a 72. That's not what you want to see. Uh, Underwood went up to a 74. So, I mean, he could put um, Daja Boehm uh run for his money we'll see how that goes corners wow what a huge upgrade there max young up to a 77 or 76 i'm not sure i just realized the top right's different holland said a 76 glenn went up to a 76 dakota mills up to a 74 terrell pace only went up one to a 71 so that's sad to see Oof. Free safety, Solomon at a 73. Quincy Blue goes up to a 70 overall. So not much development at the, the oh, Kate York up to a, or Matthew York up to an 85. That's, that's actually pretty nice. So we will, we'll see what the depth chart looks like after we get to week one, but the team's actually looking pretty stout. That's, that's actually pretty nice. So encourage transfers. Let's see, we have to cut how many people oh my god we only had to cut five okay i thought we were at like i thought we had to cut down to 75 whoops okay um yeah i can cut five people fine 
All right, so Alex Gunderson, get out of here. And that was the only tight end we could cut, but that's fine because O'Neal, you're gone. Um, where was it? Uh, so let's see. O'Neal, Frost, we'll leave those. Um, Teague, goodbye. Asher, I don't think we're gonna need you, sir. Goodbye. And we'll go one under just to be extra sure that we're okay. Uh, James Couch Smith, goodbye. Um, so not gonna change any conferences. We're gonna rock with the Pac-12. We're not gonna change the conferences. We're gonna let the Pac-12 stay as is. I like the Pac-12 personally. We'll go ahead and advance the week. So that being said, we're in the preseason now. We can go up and go ahead and set up the schedule as of course we have the Pac-12 games playing Colorado, USC, Oregon State, Washington State, Stanford, Washington, and Oregon this year we get them and or we played them last year never mind we get Oregon and Utah uh for our open or our non-conference games we will take on Florida State on the road we'll leave Boston College Buffalo, we will switch you out with... I'm going to give myself a break <laughs> in week three. We'll take on Kennesaw State before our gauntlet of conference play. Bowling Green, we will switch out for someone a little bit more tough. We will take on... I want a rematch this year with Washington. They're going to come to us. We're going to beat them this time. I'm sure of it. I want payback. Uh, and then to end the season, we have a bunch of open weeks, but that's fine. That will be the season though for next year. Uh, I think it's pretty, pretty solid. So this season, I think we're going to have to focus more on the the defensive line maybe it says we need running backs i kind of agree there i like the power backs personally um cornerbacks we can never have too many cornerbacks always looking for line help definitely gonna need a uh, line defensive line though so we'll throw the tight end so we'll throw the defensive tackle and right end on the board uh we definitely need middle linebacker help still uh the outside linebackers is going to probably be a key for us this year trying to pick up and again those ends so we'll throw them on we do need a kicker though uh because york is gone after this year so we'll throw the kicker and the punt are on because either way we need help uh apparently we need left guard help so yeah I, we still need more tight ends too all right so we have a lot or we do have points to scout so we get some scouting in in this episode look at that uh tua ochi he is a pure three star he is a power back with 89 speed 88 excel that's not terrible emmett jones another power back uh 87 speed 87 excel not terrible again james van Buren, cornerback with 91 speed, definitely could use that. Uh, oh, first gem, uh, Kamari Addison. He is a right tackle, so we could always use some line help, I'm sure. Kelvin Newson, a Juco uh, player only, a three star still. Nothing wrong with three stars though. Carl Dorsey, that is a bust. We don't need that. Get off the board. DeMarco Gilliam, get off the board. Defensive tackle, don't need that. Derek Bostic, please. Thank you. AJ Merchant, just don't be a holding merchant and we're okay. Uh, Ty Taekwon Favre, Fave? Favre? I don't know. It's fine. Uh, Calvin Bono, lots of three stars, but I'll take it. Oh, no, don't want that though. Landon McLean, be better than that. Okay, you're not better than that. Mark Francis. Francisco, nope. Derek Clement, Clement, it's fine. Good God, you take a lot for a kicker just to be a bust. Oh, ew, ew. Um, Moffitt, okay. Why is there so many busts? Please, tight end, please don't do it to me. Okay, you did it to me. Um, Donald she Sheyu, he is a power back, supposedly. 88 speed, ni no, 94 speed, 88 excel, top of the board up it aboard all right punter good lord kicking and punting is hard to scout three star though you were better than the kicker that made us waste our time um kick power is actually really good kick accuracy leave some to be desired but that's fine we have 10 points left i believe i can offer scholarships i can so donald Sheyu, you get one and kamari addison you get one you were both gems you get moved to the top of the board. 
uh, Derek Bostic. You will also get moved to the top of the board, sir, being a gem and all. That is all we can do recruiting wise for week one or preseason. Actually, it's not even week one. Clement, okay, Clement, you're gone. So that's actually no, we'll do recruiting for week one as well week zero whatever you want to call it it's fine um i really want shoe so he gets 50 uh addison we need him 50 bostic you get a scholarship and 50 uh van buren will get moved up let's see we are gonna need this punter max devon so we're gonna move him up as well uh we'll let's see are we that far behind okay we're in this top eight so that's good we won't get locked out um give devon and van buren scholarships and 50 points and we're almost out of points for the week i don't like the rest of the guys we have on the board though that is the issue uh we're gonna go to outside linebackers here and i am just going to do it by rank because i think that's better uh uh, try to get these higher guys on the board and hope they're just not busts and we're gonna spend the rest of the points scouting because i yeah i was gonna say there should be at least one gem in this bunch please <laughs> and there was at least one i was hoping for one more there it is there it is when i find you ricky ricky when i find you ricky ricky okay so tim knight and steve chavis you guys are great beautiful even so tim knight we're first on your board sir you get a scholarship steve chavis you're gonna get a scholarship we're second on your board so we will use that last five points to give someone else a scholarship and it's gonna be our uh, our boy aj merchant here because he won't be a holding merchant and that is going to do it for that so we are going to send a week no the merchant told us no that's so sad all right guys that's gonna do it for this episode make sure you turn in next time for the season two pre premiere debut whatever you want to call it um of portland tech penguins uh where we'll be taking on the florida state seminoles where in real life they're absolute booty cheeks hopefully they are in this game i don't know um anyways make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when that game drops uh and you know check to see if we rock with uh Witherspoon, the new newer guy, or you know Jarvis, he might get the 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 starting QB job. It won't be Aiden Powell, that's for sure. But you know Witherspoon or Jarvis, what do you guys want? And if you say Aiden Powell in the comments, no. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I'm Andrew from Sexton Gaming, and I'm out. Peace.